Oh, what is up, my fellow masochist? Is your absolutely contextual back here for another Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel's masochist? <laughs> Still up at five. Things have not been going well. Last stream we did, we... Last stream we did, we did fairly alright at the beginning, and then we dropped off massively. Uh, that was a... That was a... <laughs> that was very uh, eye-opening. Hopefully we'll be able to just... I want some consistency. And I, I just want some... Like, once every three duels we get a win, I'll be fine with that. We, I mean, we've hit plat, right? And that's pretty much, like, the most we can ask for with this entire thing. But I do want to kind of at least, you know, try and get to the point where... No confidence. Thank you. No confidence. <laughs> I do want to try and at least get to the point where I can have, like, a fairly consistent duel at least at the very least if only i can go first you know if i can get like a i go first therefore i i have a good chance of winning i'll be happy with that yeah. yes we all wish for death by snooze and there's a win <laughs> they bricked they lost we don't have to do a thing it counts Yes, Blue. We all wish for death by Snoo Sniff. Dude, I remember when I was a kid and I watched that episode of Futurama. Dude, that awakened something in me, man. I don't know what it was, but it awakened something in me. I think it was when you're like, I must have been like, what, like seven, eight years old at the time? You know when you're like, when, you know when you, do you remember when you were at that age, right? And everything just like, it's kind of weird. You know, I as an adult, you go, oh yeah, that stuff makes sense to me now, but what's this? I think we already had one of these things. Yeah, we already had one of these before. We've already seen that. Yeah, it's weird. it's weird when you look back at those things as an adult and you go, "Oh yeah, no, that's that's just like that's just like a child me being like discovering like sexuality for the first time in an odd way." Yeah, but at the time it's like it makes no sense. What the fuck is this? If this guy is normal, someone especially when you attack one one water monster in your graveyard, this guy gains a tactic equal to that attack. This guy is in the graveyard, attack one one water monster you control gains a thousand attack at the end of the turn level seven <laughs> bad i don't even i don't even yeah that's just that's just really bad hoping for some floodgates give me a barrier statue please or a gravity bind something like that or a time lord oh I'd, I'd, I'd love to have a time lord ufo top share reveal one card from your deck and place it on top of your deck and your opponent reveals one card from their deck and place it on top of their deck Okay. Jet Warrior. I mean, we don't have a Jet Stink Run, so it's kind of whatever. That's uh, archetype based. This is archetype based. Go, 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 Golem. Golden form. We have Go, go, go Golem. Cannot be. Must be special summoned by. Should be one Go, go, go monster. We have two of those. And can't be special summoned by other ways. This card's attack comes double the original attack of the tribute to monster. Any damage you know, is half. Once per turn during the player's turn, if a monster effect is activated on your opponent's side of the field, this card loses its damage. Ooh. Negation. Now that's interesting. This? Less interesting. Praise the Boba. Hey, hey. Thank you for the sub, Fraser. When this, tri when this tribute summon card is bad, I need to change my sub sound. I need to change my sub sound. That's one thing I rem I'm realizing. I need to change my sub sound to something nicer. Only go good card we got is this crap. But I think we're still gonna put it in, just for the uh, negation. Ooh. Hey Fraser, you're watching. You're watching my Massacre series. This is where I just like pull shit cards from shit pack. And then I try to go against people who actually know what they're fucking doing. So that's what I'm doing today. Uh, looking at these crap cards. So we got the Google Go Giant. We got the Google Go Ghost. We want the Google Go Golem Golden Form. Eeny, meeny, miny, moe. What's the worst thing? 
that can go. Probably. That worse than Battle Fader, but still good. Level 1. Only level 1 tuner. Level 2, level 2. Level 3, level 3. We need level 1. What do we need level 1 for? I assume it's because if we get like a level 7, we can make a level 8. But how often are we making level 7 is that we want to sink into level 8? We don't have any level 5s. Yeah, no, it's barrier resin here. And then, oh, wait, this is limited. One, during your main phase, you can reveal, I don't have any of those things. If your opponent normal sends a monster. Yeah, no, we can't do that. It's bad, it's bad, 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 bad. Never seen this Yu-Gi-Oh online, this Yu-Gi-Oh one before. Is it all online? It's all online. It is all online. And it is painfully online. What I mean is either, so everyone's either really strong or they give up immediately. There is no in between. And sometimes they take forever to make their moves and I'm stuck here waiting. Or sometimes they're really quick and I want to, I want to stop playing because it's really painful to lose that badly. For example, I'm probably going to sit here. Love the emails I haven't seen in the latest two. Good job. Oh, thanks. What you mean, like, the latest two? The latest one I got is the animated one, and that that was a while ago. That was like a year ago. Okay, this person's. This person's doing some devious stuff. Yeah, those two. I got them last year. I'm ready to see some wins. <laughs> I'm not. Okay, so you can 12 jobs and gain life point. Oh, cards banished. They want to banish cards. Okay. Okay. Well, if they want to banish cards, then this card. One of the, I'm assuming one of these cards is going to be like Macro Cosmos. Or something like that. Something to that effect. The best thing I can do is just stop him from playing cards. Realistically. Also, two cards a turn. That dude, that's so annoying. I can't, I can't do two cards a turn. Ah, uh, shit. Okay, so they're playing Runic. This does include all the latest gimmicks. I can't even run a lot latest. It, yes, this has all the gimmicks. All the goddamn gimmicks. Ooh, I can I can special summon that. I mean, it goes to defense mode. Still. Right, let's start simple. Grave keep his guard. Wow, nice, I lost track after Xyz. Yeah, Xyz. Xyz was when the last time it stayed simple. So we got that on the board. We get this on the board. Defense. Speaking of Xyz, we're about to abuse the hell out of Xyz monsters. Mm. Ooh. This suddenly became relevant with level limit B. But I think... Yeah, no, actually. I love XDs, that one was your favorite. I know, I've seen your... I, I think that was the only time I've actually seen you actually play Yu-Gi-Oh! In any favorite form. That's when you got an XC, that Utopia deck. Send this to the grave. Ooh. 
going for the attack. Wall of Revealing Light. What a dick. Oh. Oh no. That's asshole energy right there. He's stopping me from doing anything. He's just gonna banish cards, gain loads of life points back. Oh no. He's gonna stall the hell out of me. Lovely, love it, love it. Love it. I want him to attack with a 4,000 attack point monster. Just like in Dimension Wall. This guy, this guy's got way more floodgates than me, even me, man. It's kind of mad. Right. Oh yeah. Uh, Fraser, watch this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, re I'm gonna redeem it myself just because uh, I know you don't have enough battle points, but I can do stuff like this now because of my stream deck. It is so stupid, but I love it. Don't make fun of me. This was like two hours of work to do this. As <laughs> stupid as it was, it was two hours of work, man. I regret nothing. Especially the Death Ice News, too. Nice. <laughs> Yeah, no, those things are pretty easy. Well, well, blurp and whatnot. I think my favorite one out of that one is the meta one. This one here. Meta this, meta that. Have you ever met a fucking girl before? You can show when it. Or what, uh, so the ones you can redeem, uh, they just go off automatically on their own. But my stream deck has a bunch of different things I can do myself. Dude, this guy just, this guy just gained all his life points back. What the fuck? Oh, that's painful. Oh yeah. Um. So glad I got my normal account back finally. Wait, finally? What happened? What happened before? I'm gonna save myself in time. Let's put in the pen. I was locked out of the other one for two years. I finally got the numbers back. That's an, oh, right. Fair enough. I'm going to flip someone there. Then cross someone. In defense mode, my Shirinui. Activate its effect. I'm gonna choose its cell. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna choose to destroy this one. And yes, I'll destroy a monster in the field. Now he gains a thousand life points, but hey, at least I'll just activate this. Of the five cards back in, into my deck. 
I gotta draw a card. Resolve the effect. Those go five go back. I draw a card. Uh, no point activating it now. It's my turn. I don't know. I don't know what this guy's game plan is. Maybe it's like make me deck out using runic cards and then keep stuff alive. But I don't see how he's gonna deck me out if he's. Ah, oh, yeah, the six card deck. But he's drawing at double the rate I am. So if every other card is a card that sends cards on top of my deck to the, hmm. This could be a problem. Ugh. Is this game like rank based? Yes. Which makes it so much harder considering I'm at the point I'm at. Crap. Oh, let's go, 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 him. This is platinum, like the top. Platinum is the higher end of the middle. So it's rookie, bronze, silver, gold, platinum, diamond, master. Dude, how am I going to stop this guy? The 40 cards left, man. How do I stop this guy? I don't think I have the cards, enough cards to stop him. And my floodgate's actually working against me now. God damn it. What you... That's both mass chameleons. Gone. How am I gonna stop this m monstrosity, man? I should never have played this. I should never have played this kind of thing. Oh, cool. Love it. That just helped them. Okay. Just have to end the turn. Fuck. Okay. I'm on 19, he's on 37. He said double my cards, man. I need some in this. This will stop him from using shit like Era of Millions. points I got nothing I got nothing can I even do anything that's something I can do except it wasn't for this What can you sink into? This and this, neither of them do anything for me.
Damn it, damn it, damn it. Okay, at least I know <coughs> you can't use this thing on me right now. Dude, that's so much life point. Yeah, no, I'm gonna have to wait for him to deck himself out. Yeah, a lot of life points. He's just getting 10,000 right there. This was my biggest mistake. This card right here was my biggest mistake in this one particular duel. That includes my field. Shit. Time Lords, I can technically keep myself going. This is not this is really not going well. Uh discard a card. Did I summon go go go? I didn't. Okay. That's still this. I can put three more cards back to my deck. That's about it. Dude, I wish I had like some like some like classic clutch card like Neo Spatian Air Hummingbird. Yeah. Honestly, at this point, I'm just will. I just want to see how many how many life points this guy's gonna end the duel with. I mean, this is, this is something. And that's the game. That's game. I've lost. I literally couldn't do anything this entire duel. That's painful, man. 
I'm not supposed to lose. Mate, this is this is called Master Duel Masterkist. Alright, not Master, Master Duel Sadist. Alright? I'm supposed to lose non-stop. Okay, now now he's just taking the piss. And now he's just taking no, no. We're gonna see it through. Let him have his fun. End your turn. Go on. There we go. I've never seen that happen before. So that's what happens when you have no cards left, eh? Damn. <laughs> that, not gonna lie, that, that shit was kind of intense. Ooh. Club Sonic Rock. I wonder, I wonder what his little guy does. Nice. Okay, what do you do, little guy? <gasps> That's cute. Wait, is that is that all that does? It just. I mean, my blue eyes does more than that. What's this? Lord of the Heavenly. Oh, this guy's all about rocks. This guy is literally all about rocks. Ah, eh, sure. I should probably save this for a more dire circumstance. If I'm being realistic about it. Because, I mean, if you get something big on the... Uh, what are the two avatars for, like, your blue eyes and these eyes? Is that a gimmick or is that just, like, your partner? I mean, it's just a gimmick, really. You know, it's like you have a little pet. So you can click something on the board while you wait for your opponent to do his thing. The fields are also a bit interactive. This one, dust flows in with mine. This little stuff happens. And there's the big guy. Fair few to choose from, but you have to. Oh, wait, that was still my end of my turn. Okay, this is why we, this is why we get met again. No, this is why we kept this guy in our hand. Yeah, there's, there's a shop with a few different ones. There's some random ones like rock. Like, uh, footballs and cars and stuff. Then you get actual monsters, like blue eyes. Or the Easter egg island thing. Alright, so next time we'll summon this, we'll attack, and then... All these things will go back into his hand. Yeah, it's not ideal that's the hand, but... It's better than nothing.
Dude, can you stop doing that kind of stuff? That's fine by me. This is fine by me. I went to the gym, but this one I'm watching. I'll keep, keep, I'll keep the stream on though. <laughs> Enjoy your time in the gym. And I'll see you Friday. Hey, look at that. Nothing happened. Again. I'll try and have a good stream. Thank you. Okay, this guy's okay. Oh, this is going to be hell. I don't think I could beat this deck. Like, just from looking at it, like how strong some of its monsters are. I don't think I could beat it. My time loads can keep me safe for turns, but that'll be about it. It may end, it keeps me safe for a turn. Yeah, then you switch on this guy, and then what's this? Gorgonic Guardian. I don't know what it does, but. Yeah, no, I was right to negate it. That thing would have been bad. I would have lost the door right there and then, actually. But almost right then. Go on, just just look at the time lord. Assume I got a time lord deck and give up. No? Okay, well my mat yen. Okay. There you go. It's just, <laughs> it doesn't work, dude. It doesn't work. Look at the card. Read the card. Unfortunately, if he did read the card, then he's gonna, he's gonna know it's gonna go back right now. Ta da! Okay, now what? Now what, buddy? And you win. Congratulations. I literally without that card, I got nothing. I got nothing. I should probably stop surrendering just so I can have uh, the chance of getting a legacy back, shouldn't I? But again, I only want legacy back when we win, so. It's fine how it is. I can go first again. Yay. I love it when I go first. Don't you guys love it when I go first? You know, because that way I actually have a chance. Like with this barrier statue, eh? I'll just summon this. I'll just set this. And hope my way my opponent's probably a self-destruct deck. Zero cards, they're probably a self-destruct deck. I don't think I had to worry about this person trying to win. The first card they're gonna play is DD contract of some kind. Play a DD contract. Oh. 
Oh. Okay. The fuck? The genuine fuck? What 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 is this? What is this? What? I'm 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 sorry, what? I'm a bit confused. I gotta draw two cards, that's nice. A It works, because it's a light. And this thing's dark. So next time I'm just going to go for the attack, right? Let's hope for the best. And if I fail, just grave keep his guard. Watch your face down. Jar grade. Nothing to worry about. Hello there. Hello there. Hey, Bahana. How you doing? Look, we got we got a regular duelist. Look at them. Look at this. Look at these cards. A 1900 vanilla monster. Equip card. Jar of Greed. Cup of Ace. Look at this shit. Like, I've, I've seen people try to lose and plan them before. But what the hell? I'm okay. How was your appointment? It was good. I'm not gonna lie. It was just it was a trip to a foot doctor. Right? Because dead skin on my feet. Ew. Right? I get that. Dude is super friendly. Right? Like, super, super friendly. And the entire time we we're just chatting away, right? He's doing his thing. Dude, my, it was, it, honestly, it was basically like I went, and, I went and get a pedicure, if I'm honest. It basically was like getting a pedicure. It was just nice, chill, and actually quite relaxing. And now my feet feel so nice. They're so comfortable to live in. So overall, so all in all, pretty damn good. All in all, is pretty damn good. I'm pretty happy. Also, it turns out I have high arch. I have, my feet have high arches. Didn't, I thought I, I thought I thought I was flat footed, but no, high arch. Who knew? Uh, what can I get from a rank seven? You're a Nui? That's a minute. I'm just gonna start this. But yeah, that, that was my appointment. My feet are all nice and feet like. Without any of the negative shit on it anymore. Yeah, when I went to a foot specialist after breaking my foot, I found out things about my feet I never knew. It's wild. It's really wild. Yeah. I mean, my, my thing was nothing that severe. It was like, like I said, it was just, that's kind of, you know, just like. You know, like, uh, what what they call it? It was like, it's like keratosis or something, you know? But it's like, it excessively builds up. Dude, afterwards, like, the guy was like, oh yeah, dude. I went like, I went through three scalpels. I went through three scalpels on your feet. I'm like, what the fuck? Wait, what, how did you break your foot though? Is that like, was that like during school? I can't remember when you had the broken foot. Or was that like a, I, I imagine it must have been after school, right? Unless I'm just like a totally dense friend and who didn't realize anything like that happened. <laughs> it was at work, right, right. 
Customer's fault, your fault, or employee's fault. I broke it in work and it was my manager's fault. Why are you like, did you like break it and it was healing and then, then they made you do something in a rebro or did they just like step on your throat? Um, honestly, I'm fine with just leaving it as it is. As soon as I get a big monster on my board, there's not very really much my opponent can do. This is the beauty of like early vanilla Yu Gi Oh, you know? Just who's got the higher number? Or how does it work around that? It was a simpler time. That being said, despite the fact this guy's playing very, very simply, he's he's taking a while. You got malevolent, you got malevolent nuzzle in your hand, and one more card. Had one of those medical moon shoes on, and had been told not to do heavy lifting. So of course, dickhead magic gets me doing heavy lifting, and the shelf broke and fell my foot. <laughs> so I went. honestly, I think the funniest thing about that is literally the fact that it wasn't the heavy lifting that did it. It was the shelf that fell and broke your foot. I can just imagine your manager be like, well, technically I didn't break your foot because the shelf, you know, it was the shelf's fault. It wasn't the heavy lifting, so you can't blame me. <laughs> Dude, that's totally what your manager would say, right? Oh, uh, I think I'm just gonna. I think I'm just gonna let him have his turn. It was one of those eight packs of Fanta that landed on my foot, though. It fucking hurt. Yeah. Yeah. Ugh. I can't even imagine going to work with like a medical moon shoe on. Although I don't really. I'm, I'm not. 100% sure we made by medical moon shoe. I'm kind of googling it right now. <laughs> but nothing shows up for it, obviously. Because it's not the actual term. Medical moon shoe. Oh, what's this stick at doing? You have one job, you're playing a vanilla deck. <gasps> Do you think this guy's playing Mascus as well? And that's why he's got a bunch of 1900 monsters and stuff. Medical Moon Boot is the correct, more correct term. Medical Moon Boot is the more correct term. Wow. They have fancy Latin names for uh, diseases and whatnot. That they resort to using kids kids toys as the explanation for a piece of apparatus designed to oh my god okay let's go for armor master that's arm whatever it's called Twenty five hundred can't be destroyed by battle i take no damage what can you do about this to be honest it's fitting for how it looks Oh, I don't doubt that whatsoever. So I'm guessing this guy is actually trying to lose and I'm just like taking my time with it. Oop. 
I should probably hurry this along then, in that case. Made him work for his lull. Yeah, exactly, made him work for his lull. Yes, maybe he was actually trying to win, but he just gave up when he saw this thing. Because, I mean, if he's playing vanilla monsters, right, with a quick card, this thing is way beyond anything he can deal with. You know, can't be destroyed by battle. Well, shit, battle's my only way to do that. At least I can do damage. Nope, can't, I don't take damage from this. So as long as this is on the board, he, he wouldn't be able to do anything anyway with the deck he's playing. He can make a monster with 20,000 attack points, right? It battles this thing once, and then this thing reduces its attack to zero. You know? And then I just destroy it anyway. Go on, attack the, attack the armor master, because you know you can't win. Or attack the fable. And show that you're desperately trying to win. Or sit there on your ass, don't do anything, make me wait for you to do something. You don't think I'll wait five minutes? You don't think I'll wait five minutes for a guaranteed win? I will wait five minutes, you, you petty man. I will still wait five minutes. I don't give a shit. Lost the dragon still won the better, better looking card. I know when it is. So what, we've had an all America win, we've had that win, we lost against, what did we lose against? That guy went on with like infinite health points, infinite life points, cool. Didn't get a legacy pack, so, wait, did we? No, we don't. Special, uh, super. There's some super resin there. Kage to Kage, that's a fantastic card. M must be special summoned by its own effect. When you normal summon a level 4 monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. Cannot be. Ah, uh, so I can use the text these. Rocks Rose Dragon. Uh huh. Monster oh, cards in your graveyard with face up Rose Dragon Monster. On Synchro Monster, you control is destroyed by battle. Level 3 tuner. I mean, it's not the worst. I don't have a Black Rose Dragon, so. Le 3 level 3 monsters. You can attach one and affect 200 for each card in their hand. That's alright, but it's not very really good. Goki the Master Ogre. Can't do anything with that. Titan Osider. I got one face-up monster your opponent controls that was special summoned from the extra deck. Change the stack to zero, and if you do, negate its effect. If your opponent special summons a monster from the extra deck while this card's in your graveyard, accept the turn this thing. Accept this card. Ooh. That's a card which keeps on coming back. Okay, that was a good pack, actually. Looking at it. Minus the super rare. Decent trap, damn, yeah. A trap that brings itself back is always a treat. And Kage to Kage is just a it's just a guaranteed shoe. So looking at this, we gotta get rid of two cards. Right. Thinking about it. Thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. 
currently. This card doesn't do much for us. There are three, there are three things here. Actually, Red Ryzen doesn't do much for us either, but no. Yeah, this doesn't do much. I'm gonna get rid of this. And then... Thinking, thinking. I'm tempted to get rid of this. It's only good for a special summon. I don't think the special summon we get from it is worth it anymore. Which is sad because it was such a good card early on. But I think that those are the changes we're going to make to our deck. 